Basin and Range National Monument. What it is, where it is, and what we can do out there. A presentation by Jim Boone. What is Basin and Range? First off, it is useful to discuss the physiographic province versus the National Monument. Basin and Range is a geographic province, and to understand it, it is useful to examine a topographic relief map. And, of course, it helps to understand that the word basin is geology speak for valley, and the word range refers to mountain range. The coloration here shows vegetation, where green is lush vegetation and forests, and brown is desert. The light and dark shading shows afternoon sun shining on mountain ranges, so the west sides are lit up and the east sides are dark. The major mountain ranges and major valleys are clear. But what is going on in this region? In this area, we see some 300 mountain ranges, most of which generally align north to south. This is the Great Basin Province. As we can see, the Great Basin is Nevada, and Nevada is the Great Basin. This unique landform, created by plate tectonics and earthquake fault activity, is almost entirely restricted to the state of Nevada. Back in the real world, here on Highway 318, we drive north through a basin and see long mountain ranges on both sides. This is the Great Basin. This is Nevada. So then, what is Basin and Range National Monument? The National Monument is a 708,000 acre conservation area that many people, mostly in the arts community, have been working to protect for about a decade. The President, using the Antiquities Act, established the National Monument on July 10, 2015. The National Monument considers everything on the landscape, the mountains, basins, plants, wildlife, ecological connections, everything. But really, it is about protecting the basins. Because of inaccessibility, the mountains have always taken care of themselves. But for better or worse, the basins have been subject to major modification by humans. The National Monument preserves the last two of the least disturbed basins in Nevada. But first, let's take a quick detour to see where Basin and Range is located. Basin and Range National Monument is located in the southeast portion of the Great Basin Province. The main unit is about 700,000 acres, and the shooting gallery unit is about 5,000 acres. If we zoom in and add some roads, we can see that the National Monument straddles Lincoln and Nye counties. The shooting gallery unit is about 85 miles north of Las Vegas, and the main unit stretches from about 100 miles to about 150 miles north of Las Vegas. So back to what is Basin and Range. Basin and Range National Monument is a huge area that includes all of two major basins, Coal Valley and Garden Valley, plus parts of several other basins. The National Monument includes three entire mountain ranges. The Golden Gate Range runs up the center, with the Worthington Range to the west and the Seaman Range to the east. Also included within the boundaries of the National Monument is the entire Worthington Mountains Wilderness Area. Plus, the National Monument shares its boundary with the Mount Irish Wilderness Area and the Weepaw Spring Wilderness Area. Basin and Range includes three major archaeological districts. Here in the White River Narrows District, Native peoples mostly created artwork on vertical cliffs that once formed the banks of the White River. In the Mount Irish Archaeological District, located in mountain foothills, Native people lived in the area and created artwork on boulders. And in the Shooting Gallery Archaeological District, Native peoples lived, created artwork on boulders, and used the topography to drive bighorn sheep during game hunts. Basin and Range also includes more recent cultural resources, including this log cabin that was built by hand in about 1865, which is right at the end of the American Civil War. Inside, you can see where builders hacked at the logs to smooth the interior walls, and you can see that residents tacked cardboard from boxes on the walls, like wallpaper, to keep out cold winter winds. The ghost town of Logan, located near Mount Irish, 
was a mining town that sprouted in 1865, flourished, and then died in 1869. This cabin, probably built in the 1970s, was constructed from cut rocks recycled from the original buildings. Just over the mountains from Logan, miners constructed a ten-stamp mill to process silver ore. All that remains are a few stone walls, a stone house, and this stone and brick smokestack. Basin and Range includes amazing geological resources, such as Leviathan Cave, a wet cave that is still growing and provides habitat and water for lots of bats. Perhaps the most amazing geological feature is an asteroid impact that struck just outside the boundaries of Basin and Range back during the Devonian, 367 million years ago, when this area was still under the ocean. The asteroid struck in shallow continental shelf waters, completely obliterating a large area, red, thoroughly trashing a very wide area, orange, and messing up an even bigger area, yellow. Several tsunamis stirred up the results, which can be seen in the mountains of Basin and Range today. On top of all that, southeastern portions of Basin and Range were racked by three volcano complexes, and today we can see layers of stone created by lava flows, ash falls, and ash flows that date from about 40 to 12 million years ago. Astronomical resources include really dark basins that provide stunning views of the Milky Way. And if you are really lucky, you might even see a falling star. Basin and Range harbors tremendous biological resources, including pronghorn, pygmy rabbits, and kangaroo mice. Pronghorn are stately creatures and a symbol of the American West. Pygmy rabbits are tiny rabbits where the adults only grow to about the size of our familiar baby bunnies. Kangaroo mice are cute little creatures that hop on their hind legs like Australian kangaroos. The latter two are species of concern in Nevada. Straddling the Mojave and Great Basin deserts and encompassing tremendous elevation change, basin and range harbors a long list of plant species, including the White River cat's eye, which is known from nowhere else, and bristlecone pines that can live for about 4,000 years. This is a flock of sheep. Basin and Range is home to several ranching families who have lived and ranched this land since about 1900. They want to maintain their way of life and pass it on to future generations. As we speak, there are little kids crawling around on cabin floors, growing up on the edge of civilization. Their grandparents want to see them grow up, with the opportunity to carry on family traditions. Despite everything else, we wouldn't be talking about Basin and Range were it not for Michael Heiser, a world-famous sculptor who works on large-scale earth art projects. In about 1960, Michael Heiser bought some land in Garden Valley, and since about 1970, he has been working on his greatest and grandest sculpture, called City. In this photo, Looking across almost two miles of desert, we see city as a collection of ramps, berms, and hills set in a scene backed by vast emptiness and surrounded by mountain ranges. Looking down from the sky in this Google Earth image, we see Michael Heiser's sculpture, City, and his ranch house and pastures. Mr. Heiser likes big sculptures. He says, as long as you're going to make a sculpture, why not make one that competes with the 747, or the Empire State Building, or the Golden Gate Bridge? City is huge, stretching some one and a quarter miles long and one quarter miles wide, which is about the size of the National Mall in Washington, D.C. Here we see the mall overlaid on city at about the same scale. The length of city is about the distance between the U.S. Capitol and the Washington Monument. City was inspired by South American and North American architecture from ancient to modern times. Inspired by prehistoric mound building cultures, most of city is composed of ramps, berms, and mounds, all of which are made of gravel and held in place with concrete. This area represents Central American architecture, taking design elements from Mayan pyramids. The photo was taken near the tip of the arrow and looking in the direction of the arrow. This is an interesting abstract piece that changes depending on the perspective. 
From here, we see an earthen embankment with odd concrete structures sticking out. But when viewed straight on and at the right distance, the concrete pieces merge to frame the embankment. This is another interesting architectural piece, which is almost the size of a football field. Each part is precision made, and if slid together, everything would fit back into the triangular box that forms the back wall. So in summary, what is Basin and Range National Monument? It is a conservation area that protects Michael Heiser City, cultural resources, geologic resources, wildlife, vegetation, and ranchers, while it protects recreational and military access to the land and inspires economic development through ecotourism. So now we know something about Basin and Range National Monument. But what does it do and what can we do there? The main thing the National Monument does is hold development at the status quo and prevents the development of wind farms, solar farms, and fracking, prevents mining, prevents shipping water to Las Vegas, and prevents urban development. While some of these things are good, we need to consider carefully where we put them. On the other hand, the National Monument protects the legacy of settler families, protects the rights of the military to use the airspace and roadways for training exercises, protects access to the land and outdoor recreation, such as camping, hiking, hunting, caving, and rock climbing, protects hundreds of miles of back roads and several primitive car camping sites, protects habitat for wildlife that depend on vast open areas of sagebrush, and protects habitat for plant species that depend on this ecosystem. The National Monument does all of these wonderful things, but on a bigger scale, it protects ecological connections between habitats and facilitates the northward movement of species in response to climate change. If left open, bighorn sheep will migrate across basins as they move among mountain ranges, and as climate changes and the south heats up, this might be where tortoises and joshua trees go to survive in coming years. In addition, the National Monument adds the Basin and Range ecosystem to the National Landscape Conservation System, where none were previously represented. Why conserve Basin and Range? Nevada is Basin and Range. Basin and Range is Nevada. No other landform so precisely represents Nevada. So again, what is Basin and Range National Monument? It is a conservation area that protects cultural and natural resources, inspires ecotourism, and adds intact basins to the National Landscape Conservation System. Why protect Basin and Range? Because we can, and because it is a great place to visit, now and for generations to come. I hope this talk has inspired you to visit Basin and Range National Monument.